Hi, I'm Deborah Sell, and I have a Roam the Atlantic story that's never been so relevant. Who would have thought my story of being isolated, working remotely from my team, all while dealing with huge adversity, would become so common to all of our lives? And so it's been great to be able to share some of my practical tools for building resilience. And although I really miss people and being on big stages, it's great to be beaming live straight into people's homes. Our latest sporting heroine is a woman who has rowed her way across the Atlantic. She started her journey with her husband, but continued on her own when he pulled out after only two weeks. So I started to think, yeah, but what if I get attacked by a shark? Or if I get run over by a big container ship? Or if I get washed out of the boat by a big wave and I can't swim fast enough to catch back up with it? Come on, Deborah, you are responsible for how you show up in this box. Nobody else, not your colleagues, not your clients. You, you get to choose the attitude with which you show up in. And so I, I put one of those songs on when I get to that stage and I, and I have to dance around my office for 30 seconds just to get my energy up. I'd seen some sharks quite early on in the journey. So I thought, you know what? I am never getting off this boat and having a wash. So I ended up not washing for three and a half months. It was brilliant. You should try that as well. In fact, you probably can because you work from home. <laughs> there are silver linings everywhere if you really look for it. And I had plenty of them out at sea. I mean, the fact that right now I'm wearing my slippers to work. Is anyone else wearing their slippers to work today? <laughs> Come on, let us know in the Q&A box. I bet someone else is. Surely that's the silver lining. Using that annotate feature, mark on my slides, which one of these ways to boost your brain's positivity have you tried before? These attitude tools, they're not about showing up in this box as some kind of fake smiley version of myself. That's not it at all. But what they do allow me to do is to have the resilience to know that on the really hard days, there are better days to come.